Hey everyone, welcome back and happy, well, you know, Friday. TGIF, thank God it's Friday. I am ready for the weekend. Now, before we get into the weekend, you guys already know that today we have hot, messy topics to get through. That's going to be at 12.30 p.m. Eastern, and we have some interesting text messages that I got my hands on that I can't wait to share with you guys, and um, we have a lot of opinions. But before we get into all of that and the weekend, since we're all just trying to get through this Friday, this fine Friday that puts us all in a good mood, we need to talk about Jen Shaw threatening to sue Heather Gay over lying about the black guy. I'm going to give more context to this in Hot Messy Topics today with certain text messages, but with that, smash that like button, show some love, and let's jump right in. Before we get into this, I'm a little stressed, and I just wanted to let you guys know, even though the holiday season, the gifting season is over, it's never too late to gift yourself, especially because everyone is always asking me about my skincare, and I get it on TikTok, the podcast, YouTube, emails. It's not a huge secret anymore. It's blooming. So this is a little device that I use, and it has different settings, and it uses microcurrents to lift, illuminate, rejuvenate, and take out all of the inflammation out of your skin. And the best part is, is normally she's $150, but if you click on the link pinned in the comment section and also in the description, well, you get $70 off. And if you don't absolutely love her, you get your money back. But with that, we got to talk about this um, and this. Yeah, and we have video. Here we go. So I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to this, but apparently Jen Shaw is threatening to sue Heather Gay and Bravo for slander and defamation following the black eye revelation. So Jen Shaw is threatening to sue, thank you to page six, Heather Gay, Andy Cohen, and Bravo for defamation and slander if she is directly accused of giving her former co-star and friend a black eye during the Real Housewives Salt Lake City reunion. A rep for the Bravo Liberty told Page Six on Thursday that Jen Shaw, who is currently in prison for fraud, caught wind of the reunion preview and is most likely going to seek legal action based on the wording that's been used. Oof. If in the final cut of the three-part Salt Lake City reunion, Heather makes any direct reference to Jen Shaw giving her the black eye, legal action will be taken by the Shaw family against Andy Cohen, NBC Universal, Bravo, Shed Media, and Heather for slander and defamation. That's what the rep told Page Six. Oy, oy, oy. They did not come to play here. So the preview for the highly anticipated reunion dropped on Wednesday night, obviously. And in it, Andy Cohen directly asked Heather if Jen Shaw gave her the black eye. Mm, she said, yeah. That's what she replied, leading the Bravo um, executive, head honcho, or what he likes to call himself, Daddy, a Bravo, to ask her to explain how it happened. So Heather confirmed that Jen gave her the black eye, but despite previously saying that she didn't know how it happened during the season four finale that aired Tuesday. Now, my thing is, we have theories, we have conspiracy theories here, Jason and I, and I cannot wait to break into this for Hot Messy, but like, did you not, because I know some of the girls like, it's like a bat. It's like a war zone in Housewives. Did all of a sudden you realize that you guys had a finale because the producers push you to have a finale? I saw this on Vanderpump Rules with Lisa Vanderpump and other people. And it's not a bad thing. It's a TV show. It's a business. So you need to have a finale in order to get people interested in the next season. You can't have like a lackluster ending. So my thing is, did you say that Jen Shaw gave you the black eye all of a sudden because you saw that Monica was getting a lot of the attention for the reality of Auntie's thing, because I heard that there was another housewife who was upset that the finale was not really about her. And now she is trying to enter herself into the mix. So I'm just curious who's doing what here, because it's a lot of calculated moves, but I need to open this up for discussion with Jason. Hold on, hold on. And I'll get to that in a second. So in the bombshell episode, Bad Mormon, um, well, the Bad Mormon author, yeah, she told 
Monica Garcia, that she felt like she had to lie to protect Jen Shaw amid her fraud trial. She said, I did whatever it took. I went on book tour and defended her and took shit for the fact that she gave me a black eye. However, when making the apparent confession, Heather notably didn't use Jen Shaw's name. She also didn't specify how she got the black eye. Heather makes reference to she giving her a black eye, but does not mention Jen Shaw's name is what the rep pointed out, noting that they will likely take legal action if Heather does directly accuse Jen Shaw. Jen Shaw's rep also claimed that the network used an out-of-context clip to suggest that Jen Shaw was the culprit behind the black eye. Now, following the big reveal, the episode cut to a clip from season three where Heather Gay first revealed her black eye to Jen Shaw and Meredith Marks, and she also had a series of scratches on her arms that allegedly she could not explain. Now, Meredith asked Heather when it happened, as they all did, and they had all been together until a few hours right before. And she said, that's, Jen Shaw said, that's what we don't know. With the side glance at Heather Gay, we are walking through everything. We don't know how it happened. Now, reps for Andy Cohen, Heather Gay, and Bravo have not returned page six's request for comment. Meanwhile, um, NBC Universal had no comment. Now, following Heather Gay's confession, Jen Shaw took to her Instagram story to combat the claim, arguing that if she had punched Heather in her eye, then Bravo would have footage to prove it. Her rep also told Page Six that the network conducted a full investigation after Heather was injured, but quickly closed it after they found no record of any wrongdoing on anyone's behalf, including Jen Shaw. Now, yet, the former reality TV star believes that she is blamed for the injury because Andy Cohen is still butthurt that she turned down his offer to do a one-on-one -on -one following her conviction, which he brushed off on the morning radio, show, morning radio show on Wednesday. He said that he'd forgotten about the one-on-one. -on -one. Let me play you the clip really quick. Here it goes. Line and phone scam where I lost a lot of money. This message comes at an interesting time. So let me just say that. I just need to predicate that I'm a current victim of fraud, which is what she is in jail for. I'm not connecting her to what I'm, I'm not saying that she's responsible for it, but I'm just saying it's but ironic. It's a hateful that thing I she was involved to, in. Yeah. Yes. So I just have to point that out. Let me point out, I don't want to be Captain Obvious here, but if we had footage, don't right. you think we would have aired it? Do you think we wouldn't have said, Heather, let, Heather saying, I don't know how I got the black eye. And then don't you think we would have cut to the footage yeah. and with a Chiron that said right. four hours earlier, pop. Yeah, you know, graphic content so warning. That's that's first of all, that's quite obvious. Second of all, I, I had forgotten about the one on one with Jen. She is right. I did want to do a one on one with her. Naturally. I don't care about it anymore. I'm over it. Her stipulations were. Right. Insane. She yeah. wanted a she in exchange for this. I th I'm trying to remember the specifics. I know she wanted us to do a docu series of her days <laughs> leading up to jail. <laughs> she wanted a lot of money, and she was still professing her innocence. So it would have been another interview of her sitting across from me, lying to my face, which we got at two reunions from her. Okay. So he's saying that they didn't have the actual footage, right? Well, Heather Gay did a book tour, and when she was asked about it, she was asked by somebody who was there, and somebody captured this on a TikTok video. This was shared by a fan. Um, the black eye edit, that was so messy and so weird, and so much was happening outside of the scenes that just didn't track. It was stupid. Now, someone from the crowd asked her what really happened, and she repeated her claim that she doesn't remember. She said, I blacked out. And she kind of shrugged, but she said, but there were cameras everywhere and they should have footage of it. And I don't know why they're not showing it. Mm. So then my question is, who's lying? Andy Cohen or Heather Gay? And also, would Jen have the ability to sue Heather Gay and NBC and Andy if they use her name?
I'm just curious. I'm curious, guys. I want to hear what your thoughts are. Don't forget one. Check out the link that's pinned for Blooming and get your discount and get your good skin. And also, two, don't forget that Jason and I are going live for Hot Messy Topics today at 1230 p.m. Eastern. Love you guys. See you next time.